Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about auto light switch or photocell. Photocell is a tiny switch that turns on the garden or street lights at the night and turns them off at the daytime automatically. So it's help to power saving. You can buy it for only two bucks. But today I'm trying to design and make a better circuit design. This kind of photocell has two problems. Problem number one, this photocell consume some power whether the load is on or off. However, this power consumption is very small, around 1.6 watt. But nowadays, even this small power loss is not acceptable. I used three photocell in my house. So the total power losses become around 5 watts. The problem number two, this photocell has three wires which make it difficult to install. So these two problems force me to design a better circuit. Before I go to design a circuit by myself, I search in the Google to find a photocell circuit with only two wires and no standby power losses. This was the only circuit that I find. So okay, it has only two wires and no standby power losses. But does it work perfect? No, let's see why. This circuit sometimes works as a dimmer. As you can see, when I move my hand slowly toward the LDR sensor, the circuit doesn't switch the lamp, but it's running the lamp by dimming it. So this circuit can kill your CFL or LED lamps because they aren't dimmable. The other problem in this circuit, there are no delay time before running the load. So the lamp blinking at the sunrise or sunset. This is my new circuit design. I used a bridge diode between line wire and the load. The bridge diode here I used for two purposes. First, for powering the IC. Second purpose, for switching the load by full cycle. Because the SCR can running the load for only half cycle. But by using the bridge diode, I can run the load by full cycle. Then I used 1 mega ohm resistor and 9.1 volt Zener diode to regulate the voltage for the IC. The IC is 4093, which contain 4 NAND gates. I connect the input of the NAND gate together so it's work as a NOT gate. For light sensing, I used an LDR and 30 kilo ohm resistor. When the sun shining, the resistance of the LDR decreasing and the voltage at this point increase. So the output voltage of the NOT gate becomes zero and the SCR stay off. At the night, the resistance of the LDR increasing. So the voltage at this time decreasing. And the output voltage of the NOT gate become high or one. So the SCR turns on the lamp and this cycle repeating every day. Here we don't need to delay time because this NAND gate that we used are Schmidt trigger. There are some important notes about this circuit. Number one, you should only use SCR with sensitive gates such as C106 and PT. 169. Number two, you can only use micro power ICs. In this case, I used 40 
93. First, I make this circuit on the breadboard to make sure it works well. Then I make a PCB board using my CNC machine. The old photocell circuit draws about 53 milliamps in the standby state, but my new design circuit draws only 230 microamps in the standby state. As you can see, this circuit works well for both 220 volts and 110 volts. Thanks for watching.